There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks on an unarmed and defenseless people. To the heroes of 76, we can only say salute. That class was a class that said it all to bring the youth into the center stage of the fight against wrong. Racism has been fought by none other than our iconic leader, Nelson Holithatha Mandela. 27 years in prison against apartheid does not yet define the man. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another and suffer the injury. We experience racism here in South Africa and in many parts of Africa for more than 500 years. We thought the scourge had ended with the liberation of the slaves under the leadership of Abraham Lincoln. We were wrong. There is overt racism. We know that story here, as well as covert racism. Our brother is being laid to rest, so his remains will be put in the ground. But our message is the following. The struggle begins. The struggle against racism, it has other forms. Nazism, which people had to fight, emanating from the soil of Germany. Fascism, emanating from the soil of Italy. And of course, apartheid which came from this continent. These evils have got to be fought as one thing. The United Nations resolutions around racism have the following to say. Apartheid, a threat against world peace, a crime against humanity. We're able to get the United Nations General Assembly as well as the Security Council to pass these resolutions during the time when Nelson Mandela and us were in prison in the fight against apartheid, in the fight against racism. We love America. Here in South Africa, we know very well the meaning of police brutality. We had massacres here that happened in Soweto, in Shabri, and many other places. And our message to America is, be careful, you can unravel. America cannot fall apart. So. All people remain at battle stations, even though the demonstrations may come to an end. We, on this continent, are more than a billion people. Each time a black person in any part of the world, especially in America, has been done in. Each time there's a knee, there's a hand, there's an arm, there's a kick. On a black man in America, we feel it here. We remember more than George Floyd, many other names. Walter Scott, Michael Brown, John Crawford, we remember Sandra Bland. We remember all those people, because they all went down having been treated to death. That's why the words of Mandela come back over and over again. People have got to learn to hate. Similarly, people have got to be taught to unhate. The African Union has got the responsibility to make sure that the people of the diaspora don't feel that they are left on their own devices outside there. Nelson Mandela taught us that for a struggle to succeed, such as this one, against racism, unity and international solidarity is what is required. I was a prisoner, number 41 stroke 78, on Roman Island with Nelson Mandela. His number is 46664. These numbers were pinned on us. These were the knees and the elbows that we had to shoulder for all those years in the fight against racism, supported by the whole world. We are saying, America, you've got a role to play because without the eradication of racism worldwide, peace is threatened and the division of humanity will continue. Dream. 
be idealistic. Don't be infected by the cynicism of oldies. Believe that this world can become a better world. A world where there is room for everyone. Dream. Dream. Because you actually get to be adults too quickly. And, and, and you forget your dreams. And God wants to use you. And 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 you. To make this the kind of world God wants it to be. A beautiful world.